Café Cut. So today we are going back to our level one account and I'll probably be pushing up soon on my main level one legendary account and next season we could probably get into like I don't know maybe challenger 2 or something I don't really know as of right now but you know what I'll, I'll actually try next season I'm just stuck here like over 3800 because I don't feel like pushing anymore in here and you know what level one account battles they're pretty fucking fun right now especially when you beat like somebody who's eight levels or nine levels higher than you it just feels so good to be in them so one more thing before we start the video i would just like to say that i am doing a clash royale gem giveaway and all you have to do to enter is one leave a like on today's video and two click the link in the description box down below at the gleam.io link and there it'll take you to the gleam.io page where you can subscribe and follow people and then you will be able to enter into the giveaway the more people you subscribe and follow to the more entries you will have into the giveaway you can only sign up with twitter because that's more convenient for us to contact you with good luck to everyone and enjoy the video so guys the level one troll finally made it to 2108 trophies we just broke 100 more trophies on our level account we smacked so many level eights and nines throughout our battles and i would just like to show you one of them right now i battled um, I think this guy, I think he was a level 8 or a level 7, I don't really know. So he was a level 8 and he had a mini P.E.K.K.A. wizard elixir pump deck. Now it's just running my giant skeleton princess deck because, you know, that's the only thing I have right now. That's the only deck I can work with is like all epics and like one legendary. Uh, he also has the free spell and the hog rider, I think. So we really got to watch out for that. So I'm going to start a giant skeleton in the back right now. We got the princess ready in our cycle. So we're probably going to follow up with that next. So he has the wizard already ready and he's just gonna play the wizard on defense he has the goblins also on defense so i'm just gonna use the tornado spell and pull everything to the center but unfortunately the mini pekka doesn't make it to the center so uh the bomb obviously doesn't hit the tower but at least we got the wizard and mini pekka out of the way so he is actually gonna end up zapping my princess which doesn't kill her fortunately and he is also gonna burn some minions on there too so he just spent like five elixir for three elixir and here I kind of fucking messed up because I was going to drop the witch by drop the poison spell instead. I don't know why I did that. That was pretty stupid of me. I didn't see I had the wrong card in my hand. But now uh, we have the giant skeleton. So we'll probably play him on defense once the wizard gets to the river. And we got a great counter push going on right now. We also have the witch. So we're probably going to drop the witch behind here right now. Uh, he also has a mini P.E.K.K.A. which is great on defense, especially against my giant skeleton. So the mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to go down, the bomb is going to blow up, and it's not going to do anything. But you know what? We got the witch. It's going to get some chip off his tower, and he does end up zapping it. So he has the minions coming in. We're just going to drop the princess right here. We also have the goblin barrel ready, so we're going to use the goblin barrel on his tower right now. But he does... Uh, drop the wizard and the wizard's actually gonna end up taking out some of these goblins right here I, I kind of placed that goblin barrel a bit too early because he dropped the wizard like right when I dropped the barrel I'm gonna try pulling the wizard to the center so my other tower could attack it but didn't and still the wizard gets like one shot off my tower which is pretty fucking painful especially since my crown towers are only level one so he has the elixir pump he's gonna drop it in the back but I got the giant skeleton ready in my hand and we already got a pretty good push going on right now we just need a princess and wizard to back up our giant skeleton and he does have the mini pekka so this time he's gonna drop it before my giant skeleton gets the river so i got the skeleton army in hand but nope he is gonna zap all of that out and the giant skeleton is still alive so we got a pretty good push going on right now he can't do anything we're gonna deploy the tornado so the wizard doesn't distract the giant skeleton and this is the one crown right here and i think the princess doesn't get one more shot off at this point but you know what still the tower's at 264 hp one more goblin barrel or goblin barrel and poison spell should be able to finish it off he's finally going to deploy his free spell i mean he could have used it on defense to actually protect his tower but he did it and here comes the bm so good game well played we just smacked a level eight player right here and that brought us up to 2108 so we're pretty good right now we got a lot of trophies and we should be in frozen peak within like the next month of pushing on my level one account and hopefully i also get a legendary on this i mean i'm always looking for another legendary on my level one account and once like another one comes out i'll probably just cash in five bucks just to get it 
So now guys, we are gonna hop into a live attack and see how this works. Hopefully we can get some more trophies from this. So we are up against Donovan from Reapers. He is a level eight player, so good luck to you, sir. I'm probably gonna beat you and just fucking BM you at the end. But anyways, he starts off with the Expo. He's a dirty Expo user, fucking cancer Expo right here. But we got the giant skeleton for us on defense. He's gonna play that minion horde. We have to drop the skeleton army. The princess is gonna shoot down all those troops and I, I primarily deployed the skeleton army to keep the princess from dying, but he is gonna arrow it right here, which is pretty painful. Uh, my princess didn't get any chip off right now, but you know what? It's okay. We still didn't take any damage and now he has a baby dragon coming in So I'll deploy a witch to counter that uh, Looks like it's gonna automatically target my witch before it targets the skeletons, but that's okay I'm a witch is actually gonna survive right here and he's deploying a goblin barrel, which doesn't do much right now uh, Thankfully my witch was still alive to counter that or I probably would have dropped my own goblin barrel just to defend against that But you know what? We got this tombstone working for us uh, he did deploy a skeleton army, so I think our giant skeleton should be able to make it to his tower if he doesn't like have lots of distractions up. Let's go for the princess in the back right now. He's gonna drop the expo on the other side, but my skeleton should be able to distract it. And let's go skeleton army right here. Um, I don't think he has any direct damage spells. And look, he does have the arrows, but that giant skeleton is gonna get shot by that expo. Let's pull the spear goblins away. And look at this, the giant skeleton got to the tower, the expo is almost dead, it's gonna die and the giant skeleton bomb is going to pop right here. You drop the goblin barrel, that's pretty good, his tower is already down to 830 um, HP. Uh, let's see what he does next, we got the tombstone ready so let's just go tombstone right here. He's actually gonna drop the goblin barrel so we have to defend against that with a wish and it's a level 10 goblin barrel. I mean not a level 10 goblin barrel but you know what I mean, like a level 5 goblin barrel I think that spawns level... Um, 10 goblins and I think he just mirror cheese me right here I mean he used the mirror on the goblin barrel which did let him I guess summon level 10 goblins which I think actually get four shotted by my tower I mean my princess can't one shot him my witch can't one shot him which is pretty sad right here but he's just burning all of his cards right now and we are gonna take the one crown on this side with the princess so now let's go for a giant skeleton push on the right side and see how this goes so tombstone down goblin barrels coming uh, let's go witch skeleton army uh that giant skeleton should go down to the skeleton army so it's pretty much a waste but if we can just defend for um 23 more seconds we should be good uh let's just put more pressure on this side with the giant skeleton he has a minion horde that princess is gonna do that cross shot right here, which is pretty bold, um, but it did end up taking out all those troops right here. He's gonna drop a goblin barrel, and unfortunately, I think that's actually gonna take one crown for him right here. So he's actually gonna mirror it like the idiot he is and drop like level 10 goblin barrels on a tower that's already down, but that's okay. Let's go witch right here. It's gonna take out those goblins. Let's go princess in the back. Um, he's gonna drop an expo. So this guy is basically an expo goblin barrel user, which just triggers me to like the maximum you can trigger a player by playing Clash Royale. Uh, let's go. Princess should take out those goblins, and we do have the two crown in the bag right here. So good game. Wait, never mind. Fuck you. You can burn in hell for all I care. Let's go. Two princesses, one witch. This should be the one crown push right here. Um, those princesses, they're doing work. Just melting that tower right there along with the witch. The spear goblins are going to take out my princess, but it's already down to 128 HP. So we'll pull all those troops right there with the tornado. Let's go skeleton army right here. And one more poison spell should do it. So let's just go goblin barrel and a poison. Fuck you, you fucking goblin barrel mirror cheese expo deck here comes the emote spam so guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy be sure to smack that like button down below if you did and be sure to enter the giveaway the links will be in the description down below so go ahead and check that out and be sure to subscribe to more people for more entries into the giveaway and i'll see you guys in the next clash royale video